guys, welcome back to Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. I am Candace Cole, and today we are going to be making a ham inside of an electric roaster. Well, I, I thought I bought a ham, but I do all of my grocery shopping online at walmart.com, and um, yeah, I picked the wrong thing. I don't know how I did that. I love online grocery shopping, though. It is awesome. So I have a smoked pork um, shoulder. This is not pre-cooked, but if you have a pre-cooked ham or a spiral ham or any other type of ham, you can totally cook it this way. That is what I am teaching you how to do. I'm just using a different um, slice of meat. It will still turn out the same. What you're gonna need for this recipe is a ham. And then I'm gonna let you know how we're gonna make our glaze in just a little bit. So first things first, we are going to set the temperature of our electric roaster to 325 degrees. We are going to take out our metal insert you don't want to heat that up then you'll burn yourself. I'm going to take two cups of water. It's up to you if you want to use water. You could also use chicken broth if you want like a more um, salty taste I guess. Yeah. Ham's pretty salty already. That's two cups of water but I'm noticing a little hole here. I'm going to put a little bit more water in there. I just made sure the bottom was all covered. So I'm going to set this aside. Goodbye. Now we're going to take our ham out of the package. It's a good place to start. All right, once you have your ham out of the package, it's up to you. If you want to put some seasonings on here, you can. I'm going to make mine more like um, a honey glaze because I like a sweeter taste better. But if you want to put some um, pepper or some onion powder on here, use that uh, chicken broth on there. That would taste delicious as well. This is just a sweeter flavor. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some pineapples because we're going to use the juice from these pineapples, so do not drain these pineapples. And I'm going to stick them around my ham. And when we put our ham inside the roaster, we want to make sure that this fat layer is up in the air, not down in the water. So I'm putting it kind of like common sense, how you would think that you're supposed to put this ham down. So I've got some toothpicks and we are going to just pierce this with some pineapples. If you have a pre-cooked ham and it'll say it right on the package, it'll say pre-cooked, uh, if you do, you're going to want to cook your ham until it's at an internal temperature of 140 degrees. If you have a ham that is not pre-cooked, you're going to want to cook it till it's at a temperature of 160 degrees. It's really good to invest into a meat thermometer in your life. I have found mine really handy. Shing, shing, shing. We need a pineapple right there in the front, don't we? Like two eyes and a nose. I'll just squish you in there. Right in the bottom. Ta da! Pineapple there. One more. Oh, one more pineapple. Yes! Okay, so on our ingredients, I forgot to include pineapples. So, ham, pineapples, water. That's where we're at right now. Um, I have read a couple different things about how long you should cook your ham uh, for per pound. Is that for every pound you should let it cook between 15 and 18 minutes. But then I also saw for every pound you should let it cook between 15 and 24 minutes. That's a huge range. So my consensus is if it is a pre-cooked ham, you should let it cook between the 15 and 18 minutes. If it is a non-pre-cooked ham it, per pound, it should be cooking for about it seems like 18 to 24 minutes per pound. This is a 5.11 pound ham. But what I'm gonna do is because I'm 5.11, I'm gonna multiply that. This is not pre-cooked. So I'm gonna take my middle number between 18 and 24 and I'm gonna multiply that. So we'll say like 21 minutes. So I'm gonna multiply 5.11 times 21 and that's how long this needs to cook for. But most importantly, I'm gonna be relying on my thermometer. Once it reaches that internal temperature of 160 degrees, because mine is not pre-cooked, if you're using pre-cooked, which most of them are, uh, you're gonna get yours to 140 degrees. And uh, that's how we're gonna cook this thing. About halfway through the cook time, I am going to put my glaze on it. So let's put this in and let's make a glaze. Trip, 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 trip. I put my ham in and I forgot to put in my thermometer. So unlike the turkey that we made in a previous video, if you haven't seen that, please check it out. Um, you can open the lid during your cook time of a ham. It's okay, you can have any kind of thermometer, stick it in, read it, watch it, cap it back up. It's not gonna really affect that moistness of your ham. So I forgot to put mine in, I'm, I'm gonna go do that now. 
Now let's make our glaze for the ham. So I have the ham cooking, I have the thermometer in it, and about halfway through the cook time or halfway through the amount of temperature that I need, I am going to glaze this ham, and then I'm gonna glaze it again about 10 minutes before I take it out. So I'm going to use the rest of my pineapple juice that I had in the can. I use those pineapples right on top. You can also use orange juice. You can use orange and pineapple juice. I have done both of those at the same time and it tastes good. I'm gonna use a cup of light brown sugar. And I'm also going to use some honey. I don't know how much honey exactly I'm gonna use. Let's see, yummy. So I'm just gonna squeeze some in. Squeeze the bear. Keep squeezing the bear. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, that's good. I don't know. Say three teaspoons. I have no idea. And we're gonna mix it all together. And then I'm gonna let this chill in the refrigerator. A lot of people may be wondering, did I let my uh, ham get to room temperature before I cooked it? You know, I've done my research about that and it's always freaked me out leaving meat on my counter just to sit there and I don't know, collect things. Blah. So um, I did a lot of research, like I said, and I found one website that really convinced me. It's called AmazingRibs.com. You can check it out if you want to. Um, and he just really convinced me that it's unnecessary to let your meat sit out till it gets to room temperature. You can also read up on that if you'd like to. So ham in the roaster cooking, glaze sitting here. That's about it. Guys, I'm about halfway through my cooking time, so I am going to. Ooh, like a steam factory. Let's see if my uh, smoke alarm goes off. No, it knows the difference between steam and smoke. Well, that's good because usually it goes off for anything. It's really annoying. So I am going to give this another quick mix. This is that um, glaze that we made and I am going to take about half of it and just cover this thing with it. This ham smells wonderful. I don't even love ham, but this makes my whole house smell like Christmas. So about 10 minutes before this ham is supposed to be done, I'm gonna do this again. Mm, I knew that was gonna preheat right when I was ready to start. Let me get those potatoes in. Potatoes are cooking. Every time. Totally keeping it real here. Fire alarm every time I open up uh, the oven. Probably because there's burnt stuff on the bottom. Thanks, fire alarm. I am about 10 minutes from being done. I'm gonna give my glaze uh, a spin because it has been uh, sitting in the fridge. And I'm going to glaze it again. Steam time. Steamy. Steamy, crispy, yummy. Mm. And we're glazing and we're glazing. 10 minutes before we're done, we're just gonna glaze the mess out of this thing. Just spoon and scoop and scoop and spoon and scoop and spoon and scoop and spoon. Okay, about 10 more minutes. See you soon. I mean, see you soon. Four degrees to go. Four degrees, 156. And I need to be at 160. Yours is pre-cooked, you're done, because you only need to be at 140. Still 156. 158, it just went 156 to 158. Two more degrees to go. Two degrees to go. Boop. Still two. Smell the ham? Oh, that smells good, don't touch it, you'll burn yourself. Do you see ham? Still 158. Two degrees takes forever. What's that being? Oh, 98 degrees. Yeah, no. We're 158 degrees. We're hotter than 98 degrees right here, right now. What's up? Are you gonna trick me again? Are we good, 160? You sure you don't wanna go back to 158 like you did two or three times? Good? I think we're good. We did it, we did it. Hundred and three. I do not know what's going on right now. Are you sure it's at 160? 160, we did it. Turn it off. Now we're gonna take this baby out, not with our bare hands. 
because that wouldn't be smart. Steam tastic. I'm gonna grab that. We're gonna grab this. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Don't leave it there. Don't rest your hand against the heat of your oven. See? Look at it. Dun da da da. How oh, it's burning. We're gonna let this sit. Oh, dude, hold on. Ow, these aren't good. No. Fire. Fire. So we're going to let this ham rest for 15 minutes with some aluminum on it. I'm going to pull out these toothpicks because aluminum and toothpicks are not friends. They're enemies. While it's resting, sometimes it's nice to sing it a little lullaby. Go to sleep and good night. Go to sleep, little hammy. Hush, little hammy, don't you cry. Mommy's, I'm not a pig. Um, Candace is going to sing you a little lullaby. I don't know any more lullabies. Oh, we could go like Sound of Music. Edelweiss, Edelweiss. Shh, shh, rest here. I'm not timing the 15 minutes. I probably should do that. Okay, Google. Lullabies. Two hours of gentle lullabies for babies. Oh, that's not a lullaby. Rock-a-bye hammy on the treetop. This is good. Kumbaya. Ham and Jesus. Stay Awake by Julie Andrews. Yes! That's like one of my favorites. You're awake, don't rest your head. That, that's a lullaby. Good night, Ham. Ooh, that was a warm kiss. This ham has rested 15 minutes, covered with aluminum. Ah, oh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't eat ham, but I love this show so much, and I'm so committed to it that I'm gonna take a piece of ham and I'm gonna put it in my mouth and chew it up. My dog's excited, and I am going to swallow it for you, for this show, for keeping it real in the kitchen. No joke. All right, here we go. God bless you. Dog. All right. Hmm. That turned out better than I thought it was going to. And I don't eat ham, like I said. And I really like this outside skin of it. It uh, tastes really good. And then the inside is very moist. Make yourself a ham. If you like this video, please like it, subscribe, comment, share this video with your friends, and check out some of our other ones, like where I cook a turkey in a roaster. Hope to see you guys next time on Keeping It Real in the Kitchen. See you later. Mm -hmm.